Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, uh, uh, yo, we got Boosie um responding to Kodak Black. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about that in a second, man. Uh, we also got uh, we got uh, over here, man. We got um, Erica Badu, Stephen Stephen A. Smith talking about Drake, man. We also got a uh, United States jacking you, man. Um, Soldier Boy, yo, being declared to, to have a negative account. Um, uh, again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Oh, yeah, Young Miami. Uh, uh, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. And, yo, that notification bell is waiting for your task. Go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your description, man. So go on and touch that. Yo, check this out. I know you had a rough week, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, 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 listen. When everything's going downhill, right? I'm gonna need you to remember Snoop Dogg's Boys in the Hood audition. Hey yo, take a look. Trey, you're late. I thought something might have happened to you. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Police always mess with me and my friends when we go up. Can't never have no fun. What's happening, huh? You want something too? Sick of y'all. Didn't that put a smile on your face, man? Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Put a smile on my man. But, um, I, I think, I think we, we could, uh, I think Cuba had that. I think, I, I think Cuba, we, I, I'll stick with the Cuba. Um, uh, look, 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 look. I, look, I wasn't going to cover this next story, right? But I had a dream about this story. You see what I'm saying? See, I, I, I read this story last night about young Miami, right? And then I went to sleep and had a dream that I saw the woman. And where else did I see her? Of course, the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Kneeling down, hands on her lap. Okay? I, I just looked at her in the dream, and, and, and the first thing I thought was, I thought about was, was P. Diddy. Or rather, Diddy's P. Now, listen, listen. What I thought, and look, it was very unchristian. But I thought, in my dream, I was like, I don't even want to touch her. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of low-key nasty. That's just the way. I'm just telling you a dream that I had. That's not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's how I really feel, although it might could be. All right? I woke up. Felt the shame that she was even present in my dream. I grabbed my data harvester, go to Instagram, and here is young Miami, who is 29 years old, posting, quote, I'm ready to be in a relationship and love again. This was my last summer being outside. Close oh, let me Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You want some city girl ish, right? We outside, we outside, we getting pissed on, right? I need a man that make his own money, big money. I love it when a man pisses on me. I can never get that part out of my head. Which look, that's something she said out loud. Okay? And now you're ready for a relationship? Most men are only gonna be able to imagine you covered in Diddy's pee. You see what I'm saying? Or or they'll try to cover you in their own piss. Unless she links up with someone that is so lonely or simpish that he'll prefer the shame to loneliness. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, the shame of linking up with her to loneliness. Like, how can I say this? I, I want to try to, I don't want to be mean. But, like, I, I don't want to be mean. But I think it's foul to wear your goods out, male or female. You know what I'm saying? To wear your goods out and try to present your beat up used goods to the love of your life. That's foul as hell. You see what I'm saying? Didn't the most high reject Kane's offering? Because it was garbage. Wait, let me let me let me pull that back. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo look, the most high did reject Kane's offering because it just wasn't good enough. It wasn't worthy of the majesty and the dignity of the most high. You see what I'm saying? So I think it's equally well not equally, but I think it's just as wrong in a sense to Offer to the love of your life, the spouse that you plan on spending the rest of your life with, your goods that have been used and abused by multiple people. You see what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Um, how used you want your clothes? Look, how used do you want your sneaker? Let me let me go up the value ladder. How you used do you want your PS5? A lot of us will buy a used PS5. We'll definitely, look, we ain't gonna be thrilled about it, but we'll cop it. You see what I'm saying? We'll definitely cop a used car. You see what I'm saying? Technically, a person is the most valuable item of all. But she proudly touted herself as having been a urinal for someone who that she wasn't even married to, okay? Now, there probably is a person that'll be the huckleberry. You know what I'm saying? But folks, b before you go out in these streets, 
talk about hot girl summer, hot girl summer, I'm gonna be a fat girl summer, and start twerking and all this other, yeah, go on, piss on me, I do it all, where are Kelly at, let me put, look, let me put it, let me put it to you like this, let me put it to you like this, it's very hard for a man to link up with a woman who openly and proudly has a city girl past, you see what I'm saying, I'm just telling you what it is, now you could be all city girl you want, ain't nobody tell you, it's your body, your choice, you can do whatever you want with your body, but don't be upset, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just throwing it out there. You're gonna feel some type of way when dudes is looking at you. Like, ah, I kind of know you got to pass. I'm good. I might could, look, I might want to bust off, but that's about it. Like, we ain't gonna make this a relationship, relationship. You see what I'm saying? But as far as I'm concerned, if you want some, it's a city girl. I'm a city girl. We go, we live in the city girl life. If you live in that kind of life, then chances are you got a whole lot more going on than just a stretched out what you gonna call it. You see what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying This is not to say Like I, like This message really Is for all my girls That are thinking about Going that route But haven't done it yet Don't do it You see what I'm saying um, Save yourself for somebody That that You know what I'm saying That that is worthy Of really being in a relationship With you And having And 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 having That part of you That is, has not been shared With All of the streets Because I mean Please you see what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm just telling you what it is. Imagine wanting to use rubber band and the one given to you. Look, imagine wanting a rubber band and the one that's given to you is all stretched out. You see what I'm saying? By the guy over there. No, ma'am. Uh, my bad. I spent a little bit too much time on that. But what do you, what do you, what do you, what, what, what should I say? Let me see. What, what am I at? 625. All right. Uh, listen. Soldier Boy has done the impossible. The man has, has done the unthinkable. It's being stated. Uh, well, let me see if I can pull it up. It's being stated that the judge has declared that Soldier Boy has a negative net worth. <laughs> period. Okay. Um, I never even heard of such a thing. Apparently, I guess, I guess technically, he's the first Soldier Boy is the first rapper that I've ever heard of to be in this type of situation. It stated, um, Ball Alert has posted. In 2023, Soldier Boy is, was found liable for assaulting his um, ex-girl, right? In, in 2019, and was ordered to pay 472,000, including punitive damages, which he's trying to avoid. Radar Online reported that uh, the young lady opposed his proposal and suggested he sell his assets. The judge agreed that the rapper could generate enough money to pay off his debt. Uh, this is what, what was stated: "Quote: While it is not clear that defendant." could just snap his fingers and book as many shows as you would like neither is it clear that he cannot work at all said the judge the judge also said it might not be the work he wants and he might not be headlining but the court has no reason to believe that he cannot perform at all you know what i'm saying uh the judge made further claims about the rapper's financial struggles and they said um Someone as close to zero financially as defendant claims to be uh, might want to scale down the living arrangements. Okay, so he's saying that the, the defendant claims to be at zero. $25,000 is a lot of monthly rent. Even in Los Angeles, there's no reason of which the court is aware that he could not relocate to a more modest $10,000 a month home. $10,000, that's a lot of money. You see what I'm saying? A month? Um, the judge added, defendant must be earning money from somewhere sufficient to pay for the rent and whatever other monthly expenses he has. In other words, the defendant is paying $300,000 a year in rent alone. It stands to reason that he must have some other living expenses and that money must come from somewhere. It is not coming from loans for the defendant did not testify as to any other debts. So although the court does not know from whence the money is coming, it's coming from somewhere. It is not an impossible inference to conclude that his overall financial condition must be sufficient to allow him to live the lifestyle he does without going into debt. Um, close quote. Uh, I, this sounds like it's about to be, it's about to go really bad. Like, I, I get the sense that it's about to go super bad. You know what I mean? Like, 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 why do I feel like an audit is heading in, in Soldier Boy's direction? Wouldn't that be a disaster? What if he goes live and shows up with a stack of money? Look, what would be even more wild is if he didn't. Look, I just looked up Soldier Boy's tour dates, right? The man will be working harder than all of us combined. He'll be working every day in August to September 24th, and he'll be taking off like Monday and Tuesdays or something like that. But damn near every day. Oh, oh wait. 
Soldier Boy appears to be making his way to the stage of social media. You're like, uh oh. Hey, look, 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 look. Let's see what message he had. Oh wait, he's, he's reaching for the mic. Take take a listen to what Soldier Boy got to say. Take a listen. Nigga, know what the fuck going on? Big Draco. Yo, Soldier World three the album out right now. Birthday party popping off today. Second party popping off tonight. Y'all know what time it is. Soldier World 3. Y'all know what it is. Stop playing. Gang. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soldier Boy's outside. He outside. You know what I mean? Let me just throw this out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, look, look. I feel like there's gonna there's gonna be a little bit of an audit on on the man. You know what I'm saying? And um, speaking of audits, never mind all that. Let me th let me throw this one out here to you taxpayers out of here. You see what I'm saying? Let me throw this one out here to you. And I saw this on Say Cheese TV. It says in 2022, the United States Senate passed a bill to hire 87,000 new IRS agents to investigate citizens' finances. That's in 2022. Yesterday, the Senate blocked. A bill to monitor and audit billions of taxpayer dollars sent to Ukraine. That is insane. Okay, the ble the Senate blocked the uh, oversight office to monitor U.S. aid to Ukraine. So essentially, we don't really we won't be able to know where the money that is being sent to Ukraine. We won't really get all the details as to. If it's even getting to Ukraine, hey, tell me that ain't some boy. That's foul. The money, look, is the money going to Ukraine? We can't monitor the or an audit. Um, who blocked it? The Senate. Tell me that ain't foul. And this is why I want to move to like the Virgin Islands or something like that. Like this is, but this is like par for the course, ain't it? Ain't it par for the course? We really got to do better with electing our officials, man, because these, these officials, like this greed stuff, they're all so crooked. You know what I mean? The Senate voted for that. That's foul. Uh, what's my time looking like? Um, all right, let me do my shout-outs real quick. Let me do my shout-outs real quick. My, um, Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken said, Yo, Sled, please stop making scenarios about us and our spouse. You definitely be starting arguments. Yo, Cal, my fault, bro. I didn't mean to. I know what you talk about. You talking about that Meek Mill joint when I was like, Yeah, nah, can you pick up your partner's phone? I said something stupid like that. I really apologize, Cal. I ain't mean to start no beef. Yo, let your lady know, man. Like, let your lady know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my apologies if I started an argument. And if she mad at you or you mad at her, just, just, you know what I'm saying? Throw it on me. Be Like, be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Be mad at me. Give me, I was going to say give me a thumbs down, but don't. You know what I'm saying? Give me a thumbs down by pressing the thumbs up button. How about that? I'm just saying, man, like, um, Cal Ripken, I'm sorry, bro. Because, uh, you know what I mean? Like, Arguments is horrible. Even the kids be hating. The kids be looking at like like y'all like, oh my gosh, here they go again. You know what I'm saying? Cal, I'm sorry, bro. My my, my apologies. I wish I could make it up to you. I really do. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell your lady I apologize too. Tell her, tell her, be like, yo, Celeb has taken all of our anger towards each other upon himself. You know what I'm saying? And he has called himself absolutely stupid for starting an argument. And and I agree. This is just say that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it'll work. I don't I don't think it will, but I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Hey look, man, y'all y'all got together, y'all married each other, man. Like y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's clearly like trust and love, man. Come on, yo. And not everybody wants to be monitored, man. That's not a, you know what I'm saying? No mon if you can't trust your partner, man, come on. You know what I mean? Uh, Kenny said, Doug. Odds are you will not read this. Why y'all starting like that for? Don't start it like that. Don't start it like that. Kenny said. Um, let alone speak on this. I'm speaking on it now, bro. Kenny said, since I'm a Kenny and Kenny brought it up, green flames. Okay, he's talking about yesterday's thing when I said the, the dude, Kenny, said that he was in a swamp with his platoon and um, they saw a UFO land in the swamp and it was green flames. You see what I'm saying? Um, and the dude said, yo, that's, you know, that's what he saw. Kenny is saying... Um, since Kenny brought it up, green flames are the result of certain gases plus fire. Our atmosphere glows fire, the traditional orange and red. Ken is on to something. And yeah, Mildred all day. 
Oh yeah, you talking about Mildred, Mildred from yesterday's video. If y'all missed Mildred's performance, you go to one minute and 23 seconds of yesterday's video and, and you will be blessed if you missed it, okay? Where we at over here? Uh, Miss Lynn Williams, okay? Triple six. I don't know about the triple six piece. She said, uh, Mildred's version is too cute. Thanks for making my days off something special. My favorite YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. She said, always satire at its finest and a whole lot of love for the almighty Jehovah God. Keep up the excellent work. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what it is? Uh... You know, my one of my favorite things to do is when I'm driving in my car, I like to listen to, to, to Grand Theft Auto talk radio. You see what I'm saying? That is my inspiration for this channel. I when I first saw this channel, I was like, I want to do it just like Grand Theft Auto. Look at look at the look at the Amazon man running, bro. You don't gotta run. Yeah, I don't. Are you are y'all time? Do y'all do your, your drop offs? I guess you might be. Oh yeah, I'm expecting something too. You see what I'm saying? I'm expecting an octagon. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like an octagon, so you can. You know what I mean? Like jump, like for agility. My bad. Let's get right, right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, okay? Friday. I know y'all trying to chill, and um, I'm sitting there holding you up. We reported to you the other day that Drake um, has this "It's All a Blur" concert that he's doing, right? And during this concert, a young lady threw her bra at Drake, okay? Which, which to me is the equivalent to throwing a wife beater up on stage while Erica Badu is performing. You know what I'm saying? Drake picked up the bra, which uh, Badu would not have done, and I think he sniffed it. Wait, did he sniff it? Let me. Uh, no, he didn't sniff it. Right, he didn't sniff it. All right. But, but when she threw the bra on stage, he said, locate this woman immediately. And Playboy was like, I'm on it. You see what I'm saying? And they gave the woman a deal. Now she's on Playboy. Okay. And for the record, I don't think she's a 36 G. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh look at Amazon, man. You got my package made down. Um, I don't think she's a 36 G. I, look, I think them boys at Playboy got played. You know what I mean? But that's besides the point. Stephen A. Smith has a strong message about Drake and the embracing of the bra. Take a listen to what he had to say. From what is it, Playboy? Playboy gave a new contract. Because she exposed her titties on a weekday afternoon. Now, ladies and gentlemen... Can we stop faulting men for this? This man was minding his business, performing on stage, fully clothed, spewing his lyrics. He didn't ask for that. But these women were taking off bras and panties. So evidently their breasts weren't the only things they were exposing in public. But men are at fault for noticing. I'd like you to consider that, please. And get back to me on your feelings about that. Drake. For the composure. And the discipline. To not surrender. To such temptation. After all. We don't want you being called a pervert. Right. Because it would be your fault. You understand that, Drake? In the world we living in right now, it would be your fault. Not the ones who took off the bras and panties. It's your fault. It's your fault, Drake. That's what they would say. So I applaud you for exercising a level of discipline they clearly did not have. Just thought I'd throw that out there to end the show. Y'all have a nice day. You hear? Appreciate you, Big Dog. All right. Got you. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right, man. You too. Uh, let's see where we at over here, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I thought, I thought, I thought Stephen A. Smith cover sports. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, look, look, look. Humans are far more complex than what they allow you to see. It's wild though, man. You know what I mean? Uh, one out of three people has an STD, right? Sometimes they say one out of four. That is to say, 25 to 33 percent of sexually active people have an STD. And you threw your panties up here. Look, where the hell is human resources? I'm telling you, them fluid encrusted butt crumb filled panties landing on my microphone, man. Now I got to put my mouth to this joint and rap. So you look, look, so you could get paid. Look, then I got to explain to my lady where the hell these bumps on my lips and hand came from. Please. Where the hell is human resources? at? I'm about to get paid. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here? All right, look, 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 look. Um, oh, 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 by the way, speaking of Erica Badu, uh, take a look, take a look at this video of, um, Erica Badu's celebrity crush. 
pop him up on her. Take a look real quick. If anybody ever see John Boyega, tell it. I said hi. And it's a lot of people in the audience. That's why I wanted to say that, because there's enough for y'all for one of y'all to get the message to the man, right? John Boyega, fine. How old is he? He under 30? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Still tough, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'll be looking for. For a long time. Wasn't that beautiful, man? Wasn't that beautiful? I like I like stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Um, you you know it's crazy, man. Because Erica Badu is a little bit older than than bruh. But I would be I would be blown away, right? Like if you know what I'm saying, like like if my celebrity crush was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I love listening to celeb sauce. That would be ill, man. You know what I'm saying? I think like that would really that would really like that would really stoke my fire. You know what I'm saying? You like who's your celebrity crush? Hmm. What can I say? My celebrity crushes. Uh, I don't know. It all depends on who who or, or, or who said they like celeb sauce. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about psychology. If if someone, I don't I don't want to get any of y'all in trouble. Cal, I'm sorry. Let me just throw this out here. Okay. If 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 someone says they like you psychologically, you'll begin to like them. Ain't that crazy? That's just the way our brains work. You know what I'm saying? We automatically start liking people after we know that they like us, usually. You see what I'm saying? Um, especially if you hear, like, from a third party. You start to look at the person funny. You know what I mean? I don't mean you cash in on it, though, man. You got to have some kind of self-control. You see what I'm saying? But it's nice to know when you're liked. Okay? Uh, do I have a celebrity crush? I don't know. I like, look, you know who I like? And I, look, I'm not asking for her number neither, man. So please don't try to contact me. But um, I like uh, I like that girl that does the um, what's that what's that show on HBO? Ah, I forgot her name. Issa Rae. All right, look, look. And finally, I don't know what it is about, about Issa Rae. I like it though. Um, and of course, I like Cardi B. I love me some Cardi B. But then Cardi B's taken. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I like her. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Uh, where, where we at over here? Um. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. I was oh, my bad. I was thinking about Cardi. Um, not 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 like 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 her performance. Be well, not a performance. A song. Her song. I don't want no smoke. You see what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, Cardi B released um a song with Offset. Offset released a song featuring Cardi B. It was called Jealousy. I listened to the song and thank thank goodness the song was hot. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? The song is called Jealousy. Be sure to listen to that joint. That joint is hot. I like to see um, Offset doing his thing. I even more like to see Offset performing with his wife. That is incredible. I love every single second of it, man. You see what I'm saying? Um, we, I like. I would like. I saw Gucci Mane do the same thing. Man. He got a, his wife in his videos. Yo, I love when artists have their they ladies in their videos, man. I think that's 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 cool to death, man. You see what I'm saying? Because that just goes to show you, like, yeah, nah, man. Like we a team, we a duo, and we doing our thing. I would love to see more um, Offset and Cardi together. You know what I mean? I like to see power couples, man. So that people can start aiming for that. You know what I mean? Since rap is so influential, I'd like to see people be like, yo, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to link up with my lady and I'm going to do this thing. But not the toxic. Not toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's his name and, and what's her name? You know what I mean? With the deep voice that I like to listen to. Just listen to, though. Anyway, uh, and finally. Oh, I got to roll. I got to roll. All right. Um... All right, so we, we reported to you yesterday that Kodak Black had a message for, for Boosie. Um, he just merely co-signed somebody else, and he said, um, he said, Boosie is a clown, but he spelled Boosie with a P, <laughs> which, which I was like, okay. Uh, that's what he said. Boosie has clapped back at Kodak Black. Um, let me see what he posted. Oh, wait, he disappeared. It looked like it disappeared. Let me see. Yep, it's not available anymore. Wow. It's not available. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, you know what? I I I I feel like I could find it, but the mere fact that wait 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 wait. Let me see. Let me see who wait who took it down. I could find what Bo Boosie said, right? But I feel like I shouldn't. So here's what I'm gonna do. 
Now, Boosie did clap back at Kodak Black, and he said some strong words about Kodak Black, but now that um, that message is unavailable, okay? So, so let me just throw this out here, man. I think between the two artists, I think that it would be best that Boosie's message remains um, uh, deleted or whatever, and that the two be like, you know what, man? Let's just do a track together. You know what I'm saying? Because think about the... Think about, like, what the objective is, man. Y'all trying to make paper, right? So if Boosie and Kodak make a song together, Kodak at one point said he used to look up to Boosie. I think it was, right? I think that's what he said. So, I mean, if the two made a song together, then both of them will make paper. You know what I mean? Like, y'all know y'all gonna make paper if y'all do that. And if you don't, then, 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 then so what? But you're gonna make paper. So you might as well make it together. All you gotta do is drop one song on Google and it's over. You see what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. If that joint gets like four million hits, it's 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 gonna be killer. You're gonna make the paper. So you know, I'm I'm glad that I can't find the message, okay? Um, because I felt kind of bad. I was like, oh man, I gotta report this. I don't want to be the kind of dude that sounds like he's instigating the beef. I don't want these two to have beef. You see what I'm saying? I want my brothers to have a little bit of an issue. Be like, you know what, man? Let's squash this right in front of everybody. You see what I mean? That's that's big. That's big. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, 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 by the way, last last but not least, I'm sorry for making this so long, but you know what? Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what else you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Ain't you in the bathroom? Listen, uh, Carly Russell has, um, didn't I just have it here? I just had it here, man. Carly Russell has had, um, charges filed against her, okay? Uh, she's been charged with filing, um, a false police report in connection to kidna the kidnapping hoax. And she has turned herself in to the police. Um, charged with filing a false police report, filing a false statement to law enforcement authorities. She's reportedly released on $2,000 bond. Let me ask y'all a question. Um, are we, are we, should we forgive her? Are we forgiving her? You know what I mean? Um, look, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I'll forgive her. No doubt. Without a doubt. If she's sorry, then there's forgiveness. If she is sorry, then who would I be to not forgive her? You know what I mean? One million percent, I forgive her. Okay? All the things that I've done did. Um, what's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. If she, if she's, if she is, um, yeah, if she's, if she's sorry, then we definitely forgive her for that. Well, at least I do. You know what I mean? And I would hope you do too. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you don't, if you forgive men they trespasses, if you don't forgive people they trespasses, then you won't be forgiven of yours. You know how it is. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.